Hello, I'm at the Knowlton School of Architecture at The Ohio State University. And today, we're gonna measure the slope of some staircases, namely this staircase here and this even larger staircase. You may think that this larger staircase is steeper than this staircase because, well, this staircase is harder to climb. But let's actually find out. And we're gonna find out by measuring how far the staircase goes up by how wide each step is. When I measure this step, I see that it goes over 12 inches and it rises about six and a quarter inches. On the other hand, we have this larger staircase here. Let's see what its slope is. So when I measure, I get 36 inches for the width of each step. On the other hand, I find that the height of each step is about 18 and 3 fourths inches. Now that we've made the measurements, let's go compute the slope. So we've measured our stairs and we found out that the small steps went up by 6.25 inches and they were 12 inches wide, okay? This gives us a slope for the small steps. of 6.25 all over 12. But there were also large steps. Let's draw those in. Here we go. So this was one of the large steps. And then we had another one. It goes off and it builds, it climbs over there. It goes down like this. This is a large step. All right. The height of the large step was, let's face right here, 18.75 inches. That's the height of the large step. And the width of the large step was 36 inches. Okay, great. So the slope of the large steps is 18.75 all over 36. These two slopes are the same because we can simplify, we can reduce this fraction to be dividing the numerator by three and dividing the denominator by three, we get 6.25 over 12. And we can see if we connect the tips of these stairs with a line. Uh, this makes a line of the desired slope and see how the large stairs and the small stairs all meet at the corner with this line. The fact that the staircase with the large steps and the staircase with the small steps have exactly the same slope is evidenced by the fact that they have the same railing. There's the railing for the staircase with the large steps and here's the railing for the staircase with the small steps, and they're exactly at the same angle. So we've seen that the staircase with the larger steps and the staircase with the smaller steps actually have exactly the same slope. Now let's use the slope to estimate how tall the staircase is after you've gone a certain distance in the horizontal direction. How high up am I now? Here you can see that we have a tape measure where we're measuring the width or the horizontal distance that I traveled here on the staircase. And if we get to the point where I was standing, we'll find out that it's about 23 feet. Now how high was I standing when I was up there? So now that we've made our calculation, let's check our calculation. Okay. Now we have a question. We went to a certain part on the staircase, say right here. And then we measured, we, 
we, we, we marked, we had a point in mind, and we measured the distance on the ground to that point. We found out that it was 23 feet, okay? So if you remember, the slope of the staircase was 6.25 over 12, which is approximately 0.52. We want to know this height, x. So we want x over 23 to be approximately 0.52. Solve for x. Multiply both sides by 23, and we get x is approximately 0.52 times 23. 0.52 times 23 is 11.96. So x is approximately 12 feet. Now let's go check our answer. So here we are checking our measurement. And I can see it's almost exactly 12 feet.